What's up everybody, it's Ben with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 2016 Kawasaki Vulcan 900. Just got this bike in and I'm going to do a quick walk around so you guys can see exactly what you're looking at when it comes to this bike. We're going to start here in the back. See the rear tire there, rear tire is looking good, a lot of tread life left on that. I'm going to call it like 70%. Good to go for any kind of inspection, a lot of miles left on it. It is belt driven, so there's your belt. Um, here on the back, here and down here. Sometimes we see some chips and stuff down here on the bottom. Don't have that on this one. Got a little bit of dirt there on my hands. Uh, you got your license plate mount, your two turn signals, and your tail light. So there's that. Coming up over the top, you can see the luggage rack here. Got some, some little marks here in the luggage rack, but nothing too aggressive. See the back of the sissy bar there. Coming around the side, you can see the uh, you see the paint in there, it's like black with a flake. It's actually a really nice color. It's got this green accent, kind of like that Kawasaki green. Uh, you can see the see the chrome there is in decent shape. Got the leather bags here on the side. They are the Vulcan bags. You can see inside them there. They have like a little frame to them. Uh, you can see the exhaust there. Looks like the factory exhaust is in pretty good shape. All the chrome's really nice. There's all that. Got your passenger peg there. Got your, your rider floorboard, get your rear brake. Here's your side panel cover. Um, the guy did add a little like seat cover here, like gel pad seat cover thing, so there's that. Here's the side of the tank. Got a mark here in the side of the tank though. I'm not really sure how it got there. I follow my finger down, you can kind of see it like that. It's pretty light, but it is there, so notice that. There's the Vulcan badge. There's the 900 on the air cleaner. See the, uh, see the motor there. And there, all right, jump up, spin it around, you can see the back of the mirror and the handlebars. This bike does have like the, the tall windshield on, you can see there, got the walking badge on that. See some splattered bugs on that thing. Skip some off the rider. There is the headlight, nice big headlight. Plus you got your turn signal there and there. You got this, got this bag in the front here, the Elite and Mac. In case you need to stuff something in there. There's that and that. Here on the front fender, there's a marker too that I wanted to point out. Got one right there, right there. And in under the bag here, you can just barely see there's like a faded, like a scratch mark right there. So that is that. I run down these fork tubes, give you the best shot I can. They're looking to be in good shape. There you got that spoke front wheel. Jump over, see the fork tubes on this side, also in good shape. Coming down, you can see your front brake disc there and the spoke front wheel from that side. Uh, there's your front tire. Front tire's in decent shape. I'm gonna call it about the same as the back. So the bike does have the crash bars. They were on the other side. I did not point them out. I'm sure you saw them. Here you can see the side of the tank with the Vulcan badge. That's looking really good, very clean. Again, I like that green, that green accent line in there. See the motor there, and there, all that. All right, so there's your floorboard, there's your toe shifter, heel shifter, kickstand down here. Got your passenger peg, side cover. Again, you got the leather bags here. So on the other side, same thing here. There's the backrest of the passenger seat passenger seat there nice seat the seat underneath here is in good shape little tiny like white mark on this gel seat pad cover but that's a nice addition coming up over the top all the stuff's looking good up to your gauges see you can got the, got the cup over there if you need it mirror clutch controls coming across same thing on this side throttle brake kill switch I'll go ahead and uh, turn this thing on as you can see that it has 2,750 miles. There'll be a few more than that after the test drive, so make sure you check out the test drive if you're interested in this bike. You can see it out on the road. To fire this thing up.
make sure the turn signals work. There's a front signal on that side. See the front signal on this side. There you go. Got your reverse signal there. And your reverse signal there. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. This is a 2016 Kawasaki Vulcan 900 with like a little over 2,000 miles on it. If you're interested in this bike, make sure you check out the test drive. Thanks so much for watching.